Chief Immigration Officer Katrina Yearwood seeking to clarify and demystify the ongoing immigration amnesty. Around 2,000 people have so far received amnesty, as the department has processed just over 100 people on average daily since the start on March 1. It ends on April 30, unless there is a decision by the government to extend it. We're definitely booked up until the 30th, and so anybody desirous of taking advantage of amnesty now would have to come as a walk-in which we will take from 2 until 8. That's 2 p.m. until 8 p.m. That's the time period, Mondays to Fridays, the department focuses all its attention on the amnesty program. You have to tell them, you have to go out and you have to reiterate the fact that, listen, I understand that you're here for amnesty, but amnesty isn't, isn't until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The reason that we do that is because we have people who would come and sit outside on the tent for their normal services of getting an extension and so i'm sure you can appreciate if you have those that are coming for their normal you know services in addition to those who are coming to amnesty a little prematurely it becomes to get a little voluminous outside and we're trying to as best as we can manage the crowd and so we're advising those that want to walk in and take advantage of amnesty do so in the afternoon among the nationalities represented in the approximately 2,000 so far include countries in the Caribbean, Asia, Africa, and the South Pacific island of Tonga. By far, the bulk of applicants, however, are from four countries with the largest immigrant communities in the state, Jamaica, Guyana, Dominican Republic, and Syria. And ABS News received the first pictures of the amnesty card, which is being made available to those who have been processed. When we're able to say, okay, everything is clear, the individual is notified, that you have your amnesty certificate. Now, one or two things could happen. You could come in and you can collect your certificate. We already will have a copy of this on their file. Or to make things easier, you can wait until the appointed time that you have made for your residency or citizenship application. Those who receive amnesty are cleared of any liability for the period they had gaps in their stay in the country. In short, their record is now clean and their path cleared toward either residency or citizenship, depending on the length of time they have been in the state. The immigration chief has also sought to clear up the misconceptions that some immigrants may still be harboring. That a lot of people initially could have been skeptical as to, you know, is this really an amnesty? What is it about? Is it, is it, is it, is it a trap? Is it what they say it is? And so for those people that are still, you know, hesitant of coming in, what I would say to you is to use this situation because it's only going to assist you. And how it's going to assist you is this. You're going to come away from extension to extension to extension to extension and have some sol solidified status within the country. And how do you get that status, that solidified status in the country? It's one of two things, resident or citizen. 